Hey, what's up, everybody? Sometimes you may wake up in the middle of the night or the wee hours in the morning, and if you have cable, you may be switching through the channels on the television because you just cannot sleep. On occasion, you might run into one of these coin dealers that sells on television. One of these television coin dealers who like to sell on a number of different stations it's not just one station there's a few stations where you might run in to these coin dealers and they may be selling proof american silver eagles maybe other coins from the united states mint or maybe even vintage morgan and peace dollars there's a lot of different coins that these coin dealers sell and on occasion i like to watch these because i find them quite frankly and honestly to be funny and somewhat entertaining but i also sometimes get very frustrated while watching these people on tv these coin dealers on tv because then i start thinking well what if people who are just not in the know or may be ignorant to the fact that these are not actually true statements that a lot of these coin dealers are spewing on national television now in the middle of the night who knows how many people are actually watching these shows but sometimes i truly get frustrated and i'm going to tell you some of my frustrations in this video today please smash that thumbs up button on the video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below in this video i'm going to be referencing two different shows that i was watching two different coin dealers we all know who the most popular coin dealer is that sells on television but it's not just him there's also another one and but the first one that i was watching was about the 2023 proof american silver eagles from the west point mint now the very first incorrect statement was saying that these coins are sold out now any of us can go to the 2023 united states mint product schedule and clearly see that neither the congratulations set or the proof american silver eagle from the west point mint in the original mint packaging both the same coin just two different styles of packaging neither one of those are sold out the congratulations set has a product limit of 40,000 but no mintage limit at then the proof American Silver Eagle from the West Point Mint in the original mint packaging has no mintage limit and from my understanding they are mint to demand but neither one of those are sold out but on this television show he's clearly said that these American Silver Eagle proof coins from the West Point Mint is sold out that is incorrect statement number one to make it even better, this was an advanced release Proof 70 from PCGS for $360 for a coin, by the way, that is not sold out at the United States Mint. And to make it even more rare, this is his statement, it's so rare because these coins were struck not in 2023, but in 2022. So it has one of these fancy labels and in my opinion, a very gimmicky label saying that the 2023 proof American Silver Eagle from the West Point Mint was struck in 2022. Then he goes on to say that traditionally the proof American Silver Eagles have a mintage of 1 million, which is another incorrect statement. And then to say that these are so rare because this message could only be 400,000. And 400,000, in my opinion, even if it was 400,000, 400,000 is not a low number, in my opinion. So then he's trying to sell these coins by saying that the mintage could only be 400,000, which is a very low number, and then to make them even more rare, their advanced release, and then not just are they advanced release, but their advanced release of 2023 West Point Proof American Silver Eagles, but they were actually struck last year in 2022. So these proof American Silver Eagles from 2023 from the West Point Mint are so rare. And my reaction to that is nonsense, in my opinion. To make the story even better, I ran into another coin dealer on a different television network. And by the way, I'm sure both of these individuals are great guys. I'm sure we could go to McDonald's and have a Coke and a smile. And I'm sure we could have a 
nice conversation, but it's the selling tactics that drives me nuts when watching these shows. Again, I'm entertained for me. I find it funny. I find it entertaining. It's the people who don't know that is the reason why I'm making this video today. Now, I'm sure most of the people watching this video, I'm sure you're aware of these selling tactics. And the people who really need to watch this video, I'm sure are not even watching this video. But this guy was selling a 2021 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle PCGS70 Deep Cameo. And he said that the mintage of this coin, 2021W, Type 2 by the way, 300,000 is the mintage. Another incorrect statement. 300,000 was the product limit for the coin that was sold to the general public in the original government packaging. The 2021 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle was not only sold in the OGP to the general public with a product limit, not a mintage limit, but a product limit of 300,000, but it was also sold in a 40 coin bulk pack and a rough mintage. And this is just an estimate because the United States Mint does not declare mintages. You have to go through all their sales figures of all their different releases for all their different products for each one of these coins but the mintage is approximately 434,000 and not 300,000. Then he was not only selling a 2021 West Point Type 2 Proof American Silver Eagle, but also a 2022 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle and said the mintage was only 500,000. Again, that was not the mintage limit, that was the product limit. In fact, the product limit was not even advertised on the United States Mint website as 500,000, although I do believe that was the product limit, but the United States Mint did not state that. But the mintage, by the way, is not 500,000. If you go through all the different options for the 2022 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle, which was sold in the congratulations set in the 40 coin bog pack to the authorized dealers and in the OGP to the general public, that mintage or sales of the 2022 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle is right around three quarters of a million West Point Proof American Silver Eagles from the West Point Mint for 2022. And then to say that these are a couple of the lowest mintage regular issue proof American Silver Eagles ever is another incorrect statement. Now they may be a couple of the lowest mintage regular issues from the West Point Mint, but that's not what was said. It said regular issue proof American Silver Eagles. Lower mintage than the West Point Proof American Silver Eagles is many of the Proof American Silver Eagles from the San Francisco Mint. And just for example, just a couple of them from 2020, the San Francisco Mint Proof American Silver Eagle had about 208,871 and the 2019 San Francisco Proof American Silver Eagle had about 199,000 619, which are both a lower mintage approximately because, again, the United States Mint does not declare mintages, so these are just approximate numbers, but both of which is a lower mintage than the 2021 Type 2 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle and definitely a lower mintage than the 2022 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle. To further my frustration, if I wasn't already frustrated enough at this point, but he also stated that because these were proof 70s deep cameo and he said, I don't know if this is a fact or not, but he said that as a proof 70, 
they are less. There's less proof 70s than 30,000. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but even if it is true, just to state, he said that these are much more rare than the 2019, get ready for it, the 2019 San Francisco enhanced reverse proof that had a mintage limit of 30,000 for the coin. The coin had a mintage limit of 30,000. I believe they actually only sold 29,009. But he went on there and said that because these were proof 70s, deep cameo, and that PCGS only certified less than 30,000, that that made these coins more rare than the 2019 enhanced reverse proof American Silver Eagle from the San Francisco Mint. Now each of the coins he was selling as Proof 70s Deep Cameo for $129. Now I don't know if that's a great deal or not. It seems like it may be in the ballpark for a Proof 70 Deep Cameo, but all the misinformation leading up to this price and these coins is what frustrates me the most. I do a lot of videos about the United States Mint and videos about approximate mintages and sales figures and I try my best to get the most accurate information possible. Sometimes I may get information wrong because I'm only human. I'm not perfect. As much as I try to be perfect, I am not. But I try to get the most accurate information as possible and if i do make a mistake then i try to correct my mistake so it frustrates me when i see these coin dealers on television with a very broad audience giving misinformation non-factual information very poor selling tactics in my opinion just to sell more of these coins and not even making the attempt, in my opinion, to provide correct information. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Please hit the thumbs up button on the video. Definitely let me know your thoughts about everything we spoke about in this video. Do you watch any of these coin dealers on television or maybe you can find them on YouTube? Are you entertained by it? Do you find these television shows entertaining as I do at times? but also frustrating as I do at times. Let me know your thoughts, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks everyone.